Congrats, champ. Thank you. Thank you. Is that the most um, satisfying win of your career, given the, the, the beef that you guys have and had and everything else? Like, I'm satisfied that I got the win, but I wanted to get that motherfucker out of there. I wanted to cause a little more damage. I definitely got to see the look I was looking for. Like, oh, he wasn't ready uh, for the pain that I was going to bring him. But, um, uh, but, so, yeah, yeah, that is the most satisfying, given the talk uh, he was talking. I'm also... I'm glad to be the one that shut him up for a little bit. I feel like if I would have finished him, it would have shut his mouth for a longer time, but he, he's going to be mad, and I, I can sleep well at night knowing that. How far in advance did you plan your, your little uh, send-off once you got on the mic? The little uh, I thought about that uh, backstage. <laughs> backstage, I was like, you know what? Uh, the fans not really liking him, so I'm going to give the fans, you know what I mean, some, some uh, I told you so, too, after the fight, you know? Uh, I think they enjoyed that. So take us through... Um the fight from your perspective, yeah. obviously t two stories to the fight. One, yeah. his control time. Yep. And two is, you know, you out striking him. So yeah. were you surprised at the, I guess, the, the wide disparity of, of the scores? I was surprised with the 50-35 or 50-45 um, because I definitely believe he was trying to, like, control. And that, we know that's his game. Uh, but he did, like, literally no damage to me any of the times anytime he controlled me because he couldn't do damage because I'm creating space and, and doing the things I'm supposed to do to, to keep the fight moving, like to progress toward a finish. And anytime I got in the dominant position, I was progressing toward a finish. He was just trying to stall the fight out. That's all he was doing. So um, I don't think, and even we, he, uh, the commissioner read us the rules in the beginning of the fight. It was like damage, uh, case, generalship, those on uh, or those hold the highest regard in a fight. So just because you hold somebody's legs for, you know, a round, that don't mean, you know, you uh, should win a fight. And I think that's how it should be. This is mixed martial arts. But you've been around this game quite a bit. Yep. You've mm -hmm. seen things go, and, go screwy. So is there, was there times during the fight when you're on your back and he's holding you down that you're going, oh, shit, man, this, this could turn sideways on me in a, in a hurry. Um, yeah. With the judges. And, with the and judges. My, my coaches were giving me senses of urgency, too. Like, like I need to get going. And, and I know that going into this fight, like, that, that's, that's his whole game plan. He's going to try to hold me. Um, and, and the game plan was not to get him there. He was good enough to get up or to get in and get past my back, so get up past a lot of my defenses. But um, ultimately, he wasn't able to do anything with the position. And I was able to escape a lot of the positions. I don't know um, if he's, he ever finished, like, on top of me at the end of the round. I don't uh, remember uh, now. But I, I, I believe at, at, I was able to reverse him or – or escape from position majority of the times he was able to gain position on me you got to be in there with with, uh, with patchy you know no obviously you're fighting him several months down the line mm -hmm. what are your initial thoughts on that and and did you see any of his uh his fight against Magomed? yeah i seen the glimpses of it i seen the uh the finish um and i and i know patchy's good on the ground you know uh my thing is you know, uh, you're not you're not better than me uh, in mixed martial arts. You know, in grappling situations, you might think you're better than me, but um, you got to get past a lot of things to get into my uh, or or to get me to the ground or get me to engage or or be in a bad position. You know, I got uh, amazing uh, submission defense and wrestling, so um, we'll see. You know, um, I'm looking forward to that fight actually because he's 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 proven himself to be like among one of the great. He beat uh, Horiguchi. And he's beat Magomed, you know, um, who I also have a win over. So he's definitely, I would say he's deserving of the spot, you know. And I'm, I'm actually looking forward to putting my fist through that gap in the middle of his teeth. So I'm excited, you know. I'm excited for that fight. You seem pretty healthy. He seemed pretty healthy when he was back here. How soon do you want to get this thing wrapped up? I mean, I mean do you have a timeline in Sabatello, in bitch ass, ain't, ain't punch me or kick me or do nothing to me uh, that whole fight. So I'm ready to go. If he's ready to go in February, I would be ready to go. Um... That's up to him. I should ask my, my family, actually, <laughs> before I do that, because that's a little soon. But um, I'm ready to go, you know. I love to fight, um, you know. So, so I'll be ready to go as soon as he's ready to go. Kay Williams from Can Chronicles Media. How you doing, Stotts? Pretty good, man. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. You know it's been well documented. You called him out on Can Chronicles Media when we interviewed back in April. Yeah, yeah. Walk us through the emotions on you actually winning and it coming to fruition. Yeah, man, it's just, you know, uh, everything that I say is going to happen, it, it end up, ends up happening. I speak these things into existence, and they end up happening. Um, it's just, like, gratifying, you know? Like I said, like, I wanted to finish him and, you know, kind of uh, 
uh, disable him for a little bit, but um, I didn't get that, but I got the win, and um, I also got to shut him up a little bit, so that's def. I, I'm gonna sleep well at night for a little bit, you know? I'm gonna probably troll him a little longer on uh, <laughs> uh, social media and stuff. Yeah, let's go! Yeah, a bunch of people probably gonna troll him with me. Uh, <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited for the win. And you know, I got a personal question for you, man. What's gonna be your uh, your victory meal tonight, man? I know you can't cheat on the diet. Oh man, I'm cheating on the diet for sure. Michaela, what we getting? I don't know. I don't know. We what's up, baby? What's up? Um, I want to get so jambalaya. Jambalaya is one of my favorite dishes to have after the fight, you know. So I'm gonna ask uh, Jason, my nutritionist, uh, to see if we can get some jambalaya or something, man. He cooked me up some good stuff this week too, so. So yeah, I, I'm a, I'll probably try to some jambalaya. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. All right, Raytheon, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, let me ask you this, and I know you kind of got asked this a little bit. You're sitting there, one scorecard's red, another scorecard's red. It's coming on the one man's decision whether you're the champion or not. What's going through your mind? Man, in that moment, a lot of regret. Uh, just like, man, I should have finished him, or man, I should have, you know, gave a little more. Um, and, or not let up um, a little more, but um, yeah, so I don't like going to judge the decisions, you know, because I'm leaving my, my future in the hands of, you know, other people. Um, so when I heard that 50-45 in the beginning, I was like, God damn it, here we go. Because uh, that was an outrageous scorecard, I feel. But, um, you know, it, it, it worked in my favor, you know, uh, probably a little bit of luck, a little bit of, you know, skill, a little bit of God on my side. Um, so, you know, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful in those situations. Uh, what did I mean? Obviously, you're in the moment. It's really hard to score, but you know yeah. your corner and your stuff. Like, what rounds did you think you won? Like, what what was your scorecard or your or if you're in it, you might not be able to. Or when your your teammates, what are they telling you? Um, I think uh, the first round, I think he controlled me. I wasn't able to get a lot of damage off. Uh, I, I don't remember if, if the second round, I felt like I maybe have won, or he might have got that that the second round. The beyond the third round is when my my coaches Eric Nisic and Eve Edwards told me like I need to be more urgent you got to be more urgent you can't give up anything and that's when I kind of started um uh, I feel like uh winning the fight the fifth round I, I feel like I knew it was a cru crucial round uh I was winning the fight early and then he got position on me and I was even in that position I was just landing you know I was landing those back elbows and uh I was I was giving damage you know um and every second of the fight I was giving damage so I thought that would um that would help uh me win the fight you know and it, and it did uh, how close was that knee bar? Man, the knee bar was close. Man, I almost got his ass in the knee bar. Um, I think he switched like uh, his hips like at the last minute. And I had like ten seconds to go, so I couldn't like reposition. But uh, I definitely surprised him. I think uh, with it. All right. Um, I, kind of two part question. Yeah. Uh, you said that you didn't think it'd be competitive. Yeah. Um, it, I mean, it was pretty competitive. Yeah, this it was. Decision. Yeah. Uh, do you respect his skills more now? And then the second part of that question is, uh, obviously he talked a lot of trash. Uh, he wasn't able to completely back it up. Yeah. But it made a lot of people really excited for the Grand Prix, and particularly this fight more than any. Would you yeah. say he's good for MMA? No, I definitely, th I think he's good for MMA. I think he was great for my career. He was a great step I needed. I feel like um, I, I needed a villain. I needed somebody, you know, on the other side of the cage that people thought, could um, hang with me and, um, you know, would, would uh, like pose a threat to me and challenge me, you know, and he definitely did that. His skills uh, were better than I thought it, they were, so I'll give him credit for that. But I still won, so I'm still going to talk shit and uh, rub it in his face, so. <laughs> Ralph, so your next fight's with, you know, Patchy. Yep. Then possibly, you know, with Sergio. Yep. Do you think you're done facing Sabatello, or you think he's going to come back again? I said this in the beginning. I feel like this was early for me to face Sabatello. I think he'll be back. I think he'll learn from this uh, this loss, and he'll be better for it. Um, I think he still needs time in the game to uh, grow. Um, so, yeah, I, I, hopefully I see him again because that was like a fun fight, and that was a fun buildup, and he had a lot to say that I thought was uh, that was good. So uh, hopefully I see him again. Now, you talked about the damage you were doing. In the yeah. fifth round with those elbows, yeah. did you think they w the elbows were not 12 to 6 elbows to have the ref stop it? Yeah, I don't think they were. The, the issue wasn't the 12 to 6. I think it was because I was laying on my back, so I was elbowing like this way. I wasn't elbowing straight from the, the ground right. to the, or the roof to the ceiling. Um, he was turning his head to kind of get away from the elbows, and I couldn't really see that. Um, so 
like as I would elbow his face, he turned his head and I hit his back and the ref would tell me, hey, watch the back of the head. And you know, once I, once I heard that, you know, I stopped elbowing it. But if he turned his face again, I started elbowing again. Um, and then he warned me again um, because he turned his head again. So, one last, one, one, last yeah. one for me. Can you rate him as an opponent? Um, given this performance, I'll give him uh, a negative two. So, um, yeah, he definitely better than I thought he was, uh, but he still sucks. Hey, Rafael over here. Congratulations on the win. Uh, I got to ask you this. I asked Sergio, despite all the trash talk, despite all the things Sabatello says, do you have any sense of newfound appreciation for him for all the uh, attention, the new attention he's brought to the Bantamweight division? Yeah, no, I def I appreciate his fight buildup. Um, I don't, I don't. So one of the reasons I wanted to fight him is because I felt like I was one of the people in the division that could pose a threat to him wrestling. I feel like he was like bullying a lot of people with his trash talk and his wrestling. And when I see bullies, I just I feel a need to beat them up. You know what I mean? So uh, that was one of the reasons I wanted to fight him. Um, but I have a newfound appreciation for his skill set and even the way he showed up tonight. You know, um, he he talks a lot. You know, he didn't talk as much as I thought he was gonna talk in the cage. But he came and he he came to fight. So um, I give him I give him a. Uh, Half of a kudo for that. <laughs> uh, and then going into that fifth and final round, what are some of the things your coaches, Jason, Eric, and Eve, are telling you in one of the biggest rounds of your life? Yeah, Eric, Eric told me. I think Eve had lost his voice at that point. Uh, <laughs> Eric was telling me, hey, I need you to fucking fight this motherfucker. Fight. I'm going to say it in Eric's voice. I need you to fight this motherfucker. Okay? You go out there and you fight this motherfucker. Don't wrestle with him. Don't fucking do all this shit. You hit him. You back up and you hit him again. And I remember that. And that, that shit stuck with me, you know? I love Eric, you know, for that... Um, that sense of motivation, that's the type of stuff I need, you know, uh, especially going into like the, the round of my life, you know. This is to keep a million dollars alive. And um, I love those guys in my corners. Um, I want to thank my coaches, uh, Eve Edwards, Eric Nixick, uh, Jason, uh, my manager, um, Sucker Punch, um, also Travis Took, and uh, Michael Corley uh, back in Houston, t uh, Texas, uh, Jose. Um, uh, I, there was a lot of people that um, were able to help me. I'd like to thank Dylan for asking the question. Uh, yeah, so I, I appreciate everybody.